All right, we got this transmission out of the BMW and we are shifting it into high gear. Yep. All right, so we have the transmission out. Um, I think we showed you. Which one was it, Daniel? Was the first? I think it might have been the first one. Yeah, first, first episode. Or second. Yeah, we got this out. Well, you saw us get it out. Oh, and we pressure washed it. That's right. When we didn't That's have it. parts. So yeah, it's all clean on the table. We have the uh, kit with everything to rebuild it, and I splurged and went with the extra double sheared shifting arm there. So it's going to replace the single one which is like this and yeah, it's going to be double way beefier. Yeah. It's just going to be a little stiffer, stronger, and, and probably not have any flex to it. I'm assuming definitely it's all solid steel. And of course you got a little donut that'll go over the shifter. So we're going to be tearing it apart. Um, there's no painting or anything in this one because everything's pretty clean and not covered in rust. We'll pull it all apart, show you putting on all the new stuff and any issues we run into with it. All right, so we got those two bolts off, and there's one that goes in this support down here. I don't know where it went. Um, I think it was on there when we pulled this off. So it'd just be those three, and then you can slide off your shifter support. And this kit also comes, so we're going to be pulling all this out. But we're going to start with the transmission, but this all comes out with a snap ring, so it's going to get rid of this really bad play where it's even worn into the shifter shaft itself there just because it's been flopped around so much. Yeah. Um, so it'll stiffen all that up, but we're just gonna leave this just the way it is. And I believe that's what, it also comes with this nylon bushing and that's gonna slide into here. Yeah. So this kit actually is very good. It has, so far everything I've seen, it's very thorough. It comes with every little thing so far, which is great. And the, this was a Ireland one? Yeah, this was an Ireland engineering one. Um, their sh full re shift linkage rebuild kit. So we're getting off the, uh, which is cool. It even, this one even comes with new bolts too. For, uh, those it? should be. Yeah, those are new bolts like for these mounts, which these are definitely wore out. Oh yeah, um, you can see that. I actually forgot I had bought some a long time ago or someone gave me them and I was gonna switch them out and um, obviously never got to it. Cause there's one. Let that fall right on the floor. Whatever. So that's good. This is all tore off. We're just gonna start with one thing at a time. So we're gonna open up the bag, pull out the shifter sleeve thing, whatever that is, yeah. and these two support brackets. Cool. So as you can see, these mounts were definitely wore out. These are what were in it. So we got the new ones in there. Uh, those are destroyed. Now we have the new shifter, which I don't know much about these, but it obviously is a slightly different style. So some type of aftermarket, this is probably a BMW where it has a full clip. This just uses a little ring around it to hold that pin. So it's probably pretty important to make sure that this ring stays on because if that pin drops out, you lose, you lose your, your whole shifter. shifter. Yeah, there's like a little bit of, yeah, there's like foam in there to help dampen it. This one's obviously now just Oh, it's oh. oh, in the, the center cavity of it. Yeah, that's that gross. Sludge. <laughs> that's supposed to be this like piece of foam in there. So it's going to be a nice. Yeah, because if you can look, if you look at the top there and I put I had to push it, it springs back. Oh, yeah. So I it's going to keep tension. Oh, it's going to have such a good when I do that fit, yeah. feel. It's going to be a lot nicer. So we're going to I'm going to try putting this on first then this. Get it kind of centered in there. Now, 
So I really don't want to bend this ring too much. Let's give this a better feel. I like the other one. Ah. It keeps that pin in. Oh, it keeps him from dropping out? Mm hmm Oh, that's a weird setup. Oh, I see, because it's... Yeah, so this, now we yeah, got yeah. it. So it's, since it's not perfectly circled, it doesn't look like it's on there, but it is. Yeah. And I'm just going to put the, the gap. Yeah, to the side there. To the so. side, because yeah, no, you never sense. know. So that's the big difference. Like Daniel said, like, this one has this nice big band that goes over the whole thing. Uh-huh. And... That seems a little nicer, but they probably don't make it anymore. This is the replacement, and it's fine too. It's not gonna. Yeah. It's this actually band actually has a, a slit in it too. Yeah, so it slides, so over. slides over. But yeah, that's actually now nice and stiff in there. I have these just a little loose so we can adjust it for when we put the plate back on. We're gonna bolt this on so that way it's secured on there. So when we're fighting the snap ring, because I know it's gonna be a pain, or maybe it won't, yeah. that it's not loose on the thing. So. What this has too, we have this. It's just that, it's just that, that, whatever they're called, the, what are those called? The, the, the t clamp. C, C clamp? C clamp. C clip ring. Sl clip, sl yeah, clip ring. Now you, I know. Snap it ring. Snap it's a ring. snap ring. It's not a clip. So, snap ring is in here. So it's just it a snap ring that's really holding. Yeah, this that, right here. This thing. So that's here. there. Ah, yeah. So cool. that's a pain in the butt. So we'll get snap ring flies yeah. for that later. So that, well, I'm hoping that's what this is because I just destroyed that. But yeah, this is slips into there. So we are slips. gonna, yeah, I don't wanna, I'll just, uh, we'll clean it out real quick. Yeah, let's clean it Get to actually, I'm gonna use this little mini vice. So hopefully, that'll push it. Now, it's going. I don't want to go too tight and then it mess it up. Basically. Oh, yeah, because it's on the other side. Oh, yeah, it already went all the way through. It does not push all the way through. I left it. Well, I didn't purposely leave it there, but yeah, with it a little it more on this side, it actually is pretty well lined up with the stuff up top and then this down here. So if it would have came over here, it probably would have pulled that over. So I'm going to leave it just like that. Yeah. We're going to throw our bolt since it comes with a new one. That's a sweet. Yep. So that through there. snap ring okay. just set to the side. so I'm gonna have to remember how all this comes out so, so, you, film it, so yeah yeah we can reference so we have a spring is that like a race around the spring yeah so there's a spring then this and then that's it yeah there's like a weird um, nylon down here let me see oh, yeah did it come with it so why does there not a new one of those like the thing that you would need the most. Oh, I see the whole thing kind of. And now, all well, this will. There's two. It probably doesn't matter, but there's two of these, but one has ridges and one doesn't. And like a neural type. Neural, here. yeah. I uh, the only thing I don't know 
why it would be any different than the bottom or the top be different than the bottom one. We're going to take this out and go put it. We need the little middle piece there. We're going to go bring this back over and we're going to see how it fits. Like this one looks tapered on the inside. Well, they're both tapered on the inside. Oh, they are. Okay. okay. Well, there goes my idea. Yeah. They're both. Yeah. They're maybe the knurled end would go. I'm thinking the, the knurled end is going to go. Yeah. This just fits so much looser. Yeah. Than this one. So we're going to put that one in. Yeah. Cause then it goes, Oh yeah. Then we're going to put all this. Stuff oh yeah. Together. This is, and it just would sit in there. Yeah. You're going to push gonna it down. Sit in yeah. here. Correct. So we got the spring, the, cause that went, yeah. Cause that's going to be for the snap ring to hold down the spring yeah. and the top piece in. So we're going to slide this back on. Like gear shifts are the most over engineered thing. Oh yeah. This whole thing. Like, like, why does what? it, <laughs> why does it need all that? Like that was the best thing you can come up with. So okay. my guess is it's, so it's vibration, I guess. Like now that this think is that rubber, much about vibration, especially on a manual. It's a BMW. But there's so many other things that they could have put time in. Like cup holders. Like cup holders. Less cigarette lighters. Cigarette at uh, trays. Trays. We only have one lighter. Three trays. Trays, that's right. So everybody can be smoking. Such a beautiful time. Yeah. Put it back together. I'm gonna be looking for a new bushing for this because that is, like I said, the most wore out thing in this whole thing. But we're gonna continue putting it together for the YouTube. Um, and also just so I can get these parts on and not lost. Yeah, totally. <laughs> well, and like, yeah, I mean, you'll see once it's together, you can still access it. Okay. Yeah. I was just gonna say five bucks. Sweet. So, right. so that part, like I said, now this is actually definitely feels, I mean, it's not. Oh like, yeah. And then obviously you have the, you have the, you have the spring. Yeah. I thought it was push. I have not driven this car in so long. I, forgot. <laughs> I guess it's pull up. I always thought you pushed. Did I put the spring in upside down? No, it was on top. Yeah. It was on top. This is how it went. Okay. Well, I haven't driven this car for a long time. So yeah, you pull up. Okay. So we got that all put together. Awesome. Yeah. So yeah. now we're going to be installing the actual like race car part. And so. Oh, wow. Nice. These are, now this is a, make sure it doesn't fall off clip, man. You have to pull up and then pull out. But oh. luckily they sent extra. So. Need me to grab that? So you, it's, it's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so dumb. <laughs> I can't. Here, let me get it. No, no, I I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. This is, this is. Nope. Okay. Dang, I'm going to do it. I'll get it. Do you have the nail to do it? You don't see? Oh, you put it in the crack. That was cheating. It was cheating. That was cheating. Okay. If you ain't cheating, yeah. you ain't trying hard enough. That was so <laughs> infuriating. Okay. Cool. So yeah, there it is. Okay. It's I mean, it's significantly better. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, new part. the fact that this is just a little worn out, but the rest is solid. First, second, third, fourth. That's it, right? 
Yeah, because reverse is up and down. Yeah, because there's... There's reverse. I think. Huh. There's reverse. <laughs> we got it. Okay. But it is up. It is up. All right. So that's the shifter rebuild. And uh, this was all the kit, all the parts from Ireland Engineering that I thought I'd ordered everything. I might be missing something. Something might have been missing from the pack. But everything came except for... As we, you saw the bushing that goes into the shifter at the bottom, which was the most wore out part on the entire shifting yeah. linkage. Um, don't know why that's not in there. Like I said, maybe it was missing. Could be an error. Yeah. Maybe whatever. So I'm going to actually probably contact him to see. And if so, I'm going to either order it or have him. I'm going to get one because that's the last piece, which just leaves yeah. out that little bit of play if I'm holding everything else still, which is fine. But yeah. now me knowing all this, it's going to drive me nuts. Hey guys, this is the next day. We're editing our shifter rebuild video. And I wanted to cut in saying after spending that night looking up that bushing that goes into the shifter rod, we found out that it actually doesn't exist. No one actually makes a replacement for it. The only way to replace that is to replace the whole shifter itself. Uh, and so it wasn't Island Engineering's fault or anybody's, it doesn't exist. So going forward, we're either gonna try to make our own or if we have to, we might end up just buying the new shifter rod itself. We're gonna to try to avoid that because they are kind of more expensive and I feel like we can pick up some nylon for a lot cheaper, turn it and stick it through there. So that was it. So if you're looking to do it, everything in that kit was there. And if you need that bushing, you're gonna to have to buy the whole rod or get real creative making your own. But we have it shifting nicely. Um, you're saying nicer than even before. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely feels way better. Like. And I think once we get this in the engine, in the car and everything, it's going to be even more stiffer. Super excited to have that in. I was looking forward to doing it, but now we missed the part. And then one other thing for anyone that has done this, or at least did some of it, the rest of the kit came with some Allen bolts. Nice ones too. Yeah. I had one bolt with a washer. I don't know. There was no nuts. So I don't know where yeah. they go. The, they were too small for what the mounting part of this was for. So if you know, please leave a comment on what this extra hardware is because maybe it's not missing something and it needs to be on here somewhere. Or they threw that in and as instead. To push they're like, here's some extra just, bolts. Just throw some of them. Um, yeah, and the only extra, those, those, and then obviously with the shifter linkage kit rebuild just on its own, it came with the right um, washers and clips. But since we used that double shear link um, it came with all new stuff for that so that was cool that one that's an easy setup if you want to just change out that shifter that has everything you're ready to go shove it in there that's it dale i think yeah. what's set up we're gonna obviously set this aside because we're finishing still up with the aging bay that will be coming we've got some cool stuff done to it um and then we're gonna get this i think we're gonna drop it might be difficult with this i think we'll put the transmission back in and then put the engine in I was going to say drop uh, it all at once, but I think we're going to do them separate. We'll see. Anyways, there we go. have to build the engine regardless. Yeah, the engine's still in pieces. <laughs> we're waiting on parts again. But there we go. So that's a transmission shifter rebuild kit from Fairly Ireland. Easy. Simple with it out, obviously. Yeah. Uh, if this was in, that'd be extremely difficult. So while it's out, we did it. Cool. Well, yeah. thanks for watching. And we'll, we'll see you next week.